much. Now I'd like to introduce the man who will lead Aura University. Dr. Mishra is Vice Chancellor and Provost of Aura University. He's based in Surat. Professor Mishra completed his PhD from Northeastern University, Boston, and he taught there as a lecturer in 1990. He did his advanced training in financial management from Harvard University. He served as an economist in Pittsburgh University. He returned to India in 1994 and worked at National Institute of Public Finance and Policy. He's credited with having established three institutions in India and was the director at G.D. Goenka World Institute, Gurgaon. He has pioneered the first fully developed foreign degree program in India. Dr. Misra has to his credit over 70 publications in referral refer journals and books. He is a team builder and has created institutions which are recognized due to the work culture, free environment for academic pursuits. He has moved to Surat with his wife, Sadnaji. They have two sons. They are studying in the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Mishra to share with you more about Aura University. Thank you. Thank you, HP. Uh, welcome to all of you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is a great day for me, uh, personally, and a great day for the city of Surat. Uh, let me begin by saying uh, I'm so proud to be part of the Rama family because they believe in doing everything as first. Uh, let me take you back to the history. They gave you the first five-star hotel in Surat. Today they are going to dedicate to you the first private university of Surat. And trust me, if I know him well, there are too many things in the pocket yet which you don't know. Uh, let me try and take you through a journey of how and what this university is, is going to be. Uh, we are committed to the larger vision that has been created by the Rama family. I met Mr. Rama a year and a half back. Uh, we had extensive experience and I was sold to the idea uh, after having met him. Somebody asked me, why do you go and take a project in Surat? I said, I'm going with Mr. Rama. And I'm so happy to be here. As has been indicated to you, Aura University is a new concept that we are trying to pioneer. There are excellent centers of education in this country, but we need many more. We are just adding one more center of excellence to the city. We believe that the thinking that has gone into making this a university is providing, is going to provide a platform for our students and our faculty members, parents, industry, and the community, something that they will be very proud of. We believe that students have tremendous potential. And I have heard in my experience a lot of people writing of this generation. 
ladies and gentlemen, this generation will make India what it is going to be. And we need to be very proud of them. They will do it. Every child has a potential. Sometimes we don't know how to get it out. We need to reflect back on ourselves is the problem at our end, that we are unable to help them come up with their best. Our university will do it. We will get the best out of students by pushing them against the wall, by giving them a shoulder on which they can cry, and giving them a support system that is necessary for success. Education at our university is going to be real time. In academics, we know that there is a four-year knowledge gap. What is current is going to come into the books after two years. What is in the books is already two years old. So we teach our students with a four-year gap. Our university is going to give up the concept of using textbooks for classroom. Textbooks are going to be used as references. Students will be given study guides which are prepared which are based on material which is current. Students can go back and reflect on the textbooks and read the principles. Uh, the four Ps and the seven Ps don't change from textbook to textbook. The applications of those change every day. We will introduce programs which will allow our students to understand the world outside the city of Surat, nationally and internationally. We want to open the doors for them to experience life outside India as well. We want to change the way industry and educational institutions work. We do not want to go to industry because they provide jobs. We want to go to them because they can help us train our students in a classroom environment. They can help us by bringing existing knowledge in the industry and close the gap between what is taught in the class and what is done in the industry. We look for that support from industry. We believe in faculty who is very progressive. It is okay for a faculty member to know what the current generation does. We can't help them overcome the problems if we don't want to understand the problems of the new generation. We are looking for progressive faculty. It is all right for faculty members that if a student wants to talk about disco, they should know about it. If you don't know it, you will not be able to help them overcome that. So what differentiates our university? First, our academic approach. How are we different or how are we going to be different from others? Our curriculum is designed to challenge students, generating key insights and thoughts. We are very concerned about the ability of our students to critically evaluate anything. We are very concerned about the ability of our students to write a paragraph. We want to create a culture of academics within the university system. 
experiential learning is critical to us and we will work on that. Our learning methods are challenging, engaging, strengthening and enjoyable. We want education to be a fun activity for the students. We want them to work with us. As teachers, we would like to work with them. We will not demand respect from our students. We will earn it the hard way. That's a challenge that we as teachers have. 